All right, I am Zach uh, with Vita Overland. Welcome back. If you're uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, traveled some distance since the last video in Mexico. We're in Canada now. About to take a ferry from the mainland over to Vancouver Island. Um, wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of my rigged tire carrier and what I've done to it. So I bought this because I'm running 37s. Can't fit a spare 37 under my truck and then also wanted some extra room to keep some gear. And I thought this was the best one on the market for that. It can hold 250 pounds. And so that was good for me in terms of carrying this big 37 and then also adding some accessories to it. So from the back here, you can see I got my 37 inch spare. I've got my max, tra max tracks and then kind of relocated the license plate holder and then have a little shelf here. Right now I have a Pelican case bolted to it. Um, so like in the Pelican case right now, I'm carrying uh, like ratchet straps and stuff like that. And show you basically how you open this. Uh, so there's a little pin in the back. So you kind of pull the pin, that unlocks it. And then you pull this guy and then she swings wide open. So really simple to use, which is part of why I went with this one. And then the other reason was it has all these mounting points where you can buy uh, accessories that are supplied by them. I wanted to make my own setup to hold all my things. So I welded this little aluminum rack for it. So you can see I got a four and a half gallon Rotopax uh, spare tank. Uh, I spray painted this yellow because it's for diesel. They don't make a four and a half gallon that's yellow. So that was my fix there. If people are like, what is that? Um, then I have this little shelf that I made here uh, I've like, you know, ratchet strapped coolers on there, put spare firewood. Right now I just have the Pelican case with some um, straps and whatnot. Then I have my shovel. People have asked me when they watch the tour of the camper, where's the bathroom? This is the bathroom, nature is the bathroom. I dig holes. Um, this is just, I, I think this is too small of a camper to have a bathroom in it or to waste that much space on a bathroom. Um, so I'll keep my shovel here. And then around the side are my max tracks. And so I have this uh, Python master lock that I use to run through the max tracks, the spare tire, the roto packs, the shovels, like 10 bucks on Amazon, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I welded this little aluminum frame. It was my first project I did in aluminum. So thanks for showing them the Booger Welds dad. Shout out to my dad filming. <laughs> um, but pretty simple, what I did was I just have these two pins and you just pull those, this cover comes off and the tracks slide right off. It was a really simple solution. Um, although it's hard to get it back on, let's deal with that later. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the tire carrier. Um, you know, I have a drop hitch with a two inch ball and a two and I think it's like 15 or five sixteenths for bigger stuff. Uh, with the height adjustment depending on what of my toys I'm towing. Then I have a mule off-road uh, recovery uh, hitch with a worn shackle on it. Mule is local to Seattle, so I thought it was good to rep them. And pre-located my license plate. Got a rep of Vons. That's my car club. Look them up. They're awesome. And then law enforcement memorial plate. If you know, you know. But I, uh, I appreciate people who work in law enforcement. Um, and yeah, that's the, that's kind of the tour of the rig tire carrier. I think it's awesome. Their customer service is great. I got rear-ended with one of these and it like had no problems. I got insurance to buy me a new one just to be safe. And then I actually had another one that I had a small problem with and they replaced it for me. Like no questions asked. Um, so the rig guys are awesome and, uh, yeah, I love it. You know, like, subscribe, share the channel with people. I think my next video I'll do an uh, exterior tour of the full Scout in the truck since I haven't done that yet. And I promise I will get a video of my buddy's F450 that has the motorcycle on back that I teased last time. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to the old man for filming. This is our second take because uh, he decided to do some zooming and then the ferry people were talking and then he decided to film his thumb. But uh, Great job. Thanks. Peace out.